Science has opened up the very real possibility that the zebra's flight is motivated by fear, an emotion that enables them to escape danger. Not only are animals endowed with emotions, but these emotions play a vital role in their survival. So what exactly are emotions? Unlike feelings, they're physical and come not from the heart, but the brain. Emotions are neural impulses. Like an engine, they power the organism. Modern scientists believe emotions actually control animals, helping them to bond so the young stay close to their mothers for protection and adults stay clear of danger. Fear is the one emotion most readily experienced by animals. Even emotional skeptics pay lip service to its evolutionary advantages. Fear commonly triggers defensive behavior, avoiding a threat rather than confronting it. Without fear, the wildebeest might stand idly by as a lion chews its leg. Fear is genetically ingrained. It's a function of the nervous system, and it provokes two types of behavior, fight or flight. The body language of fear is easily recognized in humans, but also in animals. Dr. Joseph Ledoux, a neuroscientist at New York University, has spent the past 15 years looking at rats to see what happens inside their brains when they're afraid. The reason fear is so easy to study and been so uh, productive as a topic for research is that we have uh, very good methods for eliciting fear and measuring fear. So um, if you have a stimulus and you have a response, it's very easy to follow the stimulus through the brain and get to the response. Witness emotion in action. Emotions like fear produce chemical and physiological reactions that come hardwired in the body. When the wood rat detects a predator, its heart beats faster and hormones flood the body. The control room for all this physical activity lies deep inside the brain. A tiny almond-shaped area called the amygdala receives danger signals and trips physical reactions around the body. When the danger passes, fear subsides. Normal behavior resumes. All mammals and birds follow the same emergency drill. Dr. Bernd Heinrich is a world expert on ravens, the largest member of the crow family. He works with these highly intelligent birds both in the wild and in captivity and was at first surprised by the emotional reaction they showed to their favorite food, carrion. When I looked at the adult ones in the field where I started, uh, I put out calf carcasses and it took, sometimes took days before they'd go down. They'd be so afraid of them, they wouldn't go near them unless they were in the in the crowd sometime, or unless somebody else was there first, and they wouldn't go near him. So I couldn't imagine how he had a carcass specialist being afraid of carcasses. I thought they were just the opposite. This wasn't an isolated case of food phobia. Dr. Heinrich has been feeding this pair in the same place for some time, and yet the ravens are still wary. This jumping jack behavior is an obvious sign of fear. 
Imagine a rabbit being afraid of carrots. Ravens exhibit the same seemingly irrational response to their favorite meal. If they were always so terrified of eating, they would surely starve to death. The problem with these birds is they're neophobic. They're afraid of new things. Anything unfamiliar causes them to panic. The birds patiently evaluate anything they haven't seen before until they overcome their fear and seize the day. Dr. Heinrich also raises young ravens in an aviary. They show no such worries. They go for anything. The young ravens even compete for new objects until their curiosity is satisfied. Scientists have added curiosity or interest to the range of emotions they think animals are capable of. Though poorly understood, curiosity probably encourages exploration, attention and learning in young animals more than older ones. Curiosity, by definition, is, is looking at new things and, uh, and trying to find out about them. If you define curiosity of examining new things, then, then ravens are very curious, especially when they're starting out after they come out of the nest and they manipulate different objects. And it's a way of, uh, functionally, it's a way of testing what the objects are, <clears throat> whether or not they're good to eat, actually. And I've done experiments with that, and, and they are very eager to examine things that they, that, that they are unfamiliar with, that they have not contacted before. And after a while, uh, they will totally ignore things that they were very familiar with. Curiosity might kill a cat, but young ravens thrive on it. It drives the search for food, helps them understand what might harm them, and avoid things of little interest. In a sense, curiosity is the opposite of fear, but it doesn't last forever. As the birds grow up, their curiosity wanes. Dr. Heinrich experiments with young and older birds. Here he films young tame birds to gauge their reaction to a wind-up mouse. By the time they're four months old, the ravens already show signs of shyness. As they grow into adulthood, the birds become completely neophobic. Their emotional makeup changes radically with age. Youthful curiosity encourages exploration and learning. Later, fear will help them avoid potential threats. Dr. Mark Beckhoff, a biologist at the University of Colorado, likes to see the positive side of a negative emotion. I don't ask the question if emotions have evolved. I ask why, what they're good for, what function. So I think the point is really to help develop bonds and attraction or repulsion between individuals. I mean, I love trees and I love rocks, but I don't love them the same way I love a dog or a cat or a wolf. And I think it's because we don't have the shared emotions. So I think it's the sharing of these emotional states that's very important in the bonding and the keeping, uh, to keep a group functional. Not only the positive emotions, if you will, but the negative ones of pain and fear and, um, say, anger. Emotion is a power that binds animals, just like people, together. Packs of wolves live in relative peace because emotions rule their society. Every member knows its place. Rules are enforced through dominance and subordination. Without fear and aggression, large social groups in the animal kingdom would break up. <laughs> 